So here we are going to attempt this same question 3.46 using this formula. This is force is equal to P dot del and this is operated on E vector. So you have probably heard of this formula before. This is derived from this. We will not go into the derivation. It's beyond our scope. But just know that this formula is same as this formula in our conditions of electrostatic. So here we know del operator in Cartesian coordinates is this and in polar coordinates it is this. Also in polar coordinates we need to know these two things also that dot theta cap by dot theta is equal to minus r cap and dot r cap by dot theta is theta cap. So unlike Cartesian coordinates, here theta cap and r cap are variables. So they change as theta changes. And their value as we differentiate with respect to theta is given as this and this. So this everything is in this, this green block we are going to use in our problems. So the three examples we are going to solve using this formula. So let's take the first one. So we have the wire and uh, our dipole is aligned parallel to the wire. So here in our cylindrical coordinates, P is parallel to K cap. So P is equal to P K cap. Electric field is radially outwards. So it is given as 2K lambda by R, R cap. So we have terms of K cap and R cap. So clearly we are going to use this form. So first we do P dot del. So you can see only K cap component will survive from here. So P dot del will be dot P dot by dot Z. So force is going to be this operator on E cap on E vector. So P dot by dot Z on E vector. And E vector we can see that it is independent of Z. So as you go up and down along this line, the E vector will not change. So everywhere it is radially outwards and its magnitude is also same. So dou of E vector by dou Z is zero. That means the force on this dipole is zero. Second case, uh, the dipole is aligned perpendicular to the wire. So P vector we can write as P I cap and E vector we can write as 2K lambda by X I cap. So now we have both the terms for I cap and within E we can see that the term is of X and P is also aligned along X. So we can use our first equation because everything is happening along X direction. So using one as direction of E does not change along P. So the dipole will not know if there is any other directional field because the field changing in its own direction is only dependent on X. So we are going to use the first equation. So P dot del. So only I cap component will survive. So it will be P dot by dot X. Now this operator on electric field. So in this equation 2k lambda i are constants. So we'll take them out inside we'll be left with dou by dou x of 1 by x which will give the answer minus 2k lambda p by x square i cap. So the force will be repulsive. So here i cap is a constant because in Cartesian coordinates when we select our x, y, z, then these unit vectors are constant. But here in polar coordinates, they change. So we'll see in the third case how that affects us. So in this case, the wire is going inside the plane and P is aligned like this. So it's perpendicular to the radial vector as well as the wire itself. So P now we can write as P theta cap. So this is the theta cap is along this line and along R cap we have our electric field 2k lambda by R R cap. 
so now we'll do p dot del so if you see only theta cap component will survive because again all these unit vectors are perpendicular to each other so p theta cap dot of dot del will only give this component so we will have in our first step force equal to p by r dot by dot theta so p dot del is 1 by r dot by dot theta so force is p by r dot by dot theta on e vector so we are operating on e vector so we put the e vector inside now with respect to theta 2 k lambda and r are constants why r is constant because if you keep everything else constant if you just vary the theta it will just turn around in a circle so even if you vary theta r does not change so r is a constant and 2k lambda r of course constant so we will take them out this will be left with so inside we will be left with do r cap by do theta so now we can see here do r cap by do theta is theta cap so again these are standard polar co coordinates results so we are going to use this dr cap by d theta is equal to theta cap which will give our answer so this implies this theta cap implies that force on this dipole will be in this direction upwards so once again i'll quickly recap force we have at this equation so this is very important equation later in these erodo questions we'll see we'll have the questions on magnetic dipole also so they can only be solved using this equation so this will not work see i'll give, i'll also tell you a, a limitation of this so if you take this one for example so here the p is vertically up and field is horizontal so p dot e is zero so we cannot use this equation now here force is also zero but that need not always be the case for example here so here also p is perpendicular to field so p dot e is zero but here force is not zero so this equation will not work sometimes but this equation will always work so we are going to use this from here on but as we saw in the example in the question before in method 1 we can solve these questions without this equation also but not with this equation we can then solve it with the standard other methods which we discussed in that problem but if you want to solve it in a standard way which is a sure shot way single way to solve all kinds of problems we are going to use this formula